In today's video, I am going to discuss the theme of supernatural powers in The Tempest. This is a video on request and I thank Anil Tiwari for this very important question. Now, dear students, we have another solved question specially for you. The banquet scene in The Tempest. It was there in the ISC pre-boards examination paper. Here is the first question, 10 marks. Referring closely to the Tempest, bring out the theme of supernaturalism. And you will have to refer to Acts 3, 4 and 5 in this question. As always, use an interesting introductory statement in the introduction. The use of the supernatural is perhaps the most governing principle of the Tempest. The whole action of the play revolves round magic. We have supernatural and associated with the supernatural we have magic. Mention this in the very beginning in the introduction itself. The protagonist Prospero possesses supernatural powers. Again, a very pertinent point is all-powerful and omnipotent on the island. He is present everywhere. Although he is invisible, he is present everywhere and he can do whatever he wants with the help of his magic. He has been able to tame the spirits who live in water, on land, in the fire and other supernatural and invisible beings. So, he is all-powerful in this way. He has been able to tame the spirits, other supernatural and invisible beings and he can put them to use. Ariel, who is a spirit of the air, is always at his service. Notice how I have presented my standpoint. I have Put one point after the other and there is a logical coherence in my answer. Try to maintain this. Ariel, who is a spirit of the air, is always at his service. The spirits of the water comprise the sea nymphs, elves of brooks, the meaner spirits who perform the mask are, as Prospero says, a vanity of mine art, a quotation. The spirits of the earth are employed by Prospero as instruments of torturing and punishing Caliban. Here I have stated the use of all the spirits in the tempest. Prospero's art is the antithesis of the black magic of Psychorax. This is a point which must be there in your answer. Prospero's magic is the antithesis opposite of the black magic of Psychorax. The supernatural beings represent the principle of good and act in obedience to a human will and not of their own free will as in Macbeth. They are good. Prospero's intentions are good and these spirits act in obedience to a human will that of Prospero's and they do not have a mind of their own. There is a difference in the way the playwright William Shakespeare has used supernatural in The Tempest and in Macbeth. Try to mention this. This is known as intertextual reference. Automatically, this will enhance the quality of your answer. The theme of reconciliation is related to this principle of goodness. Prospero in Act 5 remarks, the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance. He decides that he will break his charms, restore the senses of King Alonso and his courtiers. The second paragraph, after this, the coming together of Ferdinand and Miranda, the foiling of Caliban's intrigue, his conspiracy, the strange banquet and its disappearance, the songs and music of Ariel, the mask, the tormenting of Caliban, Trinculo and Stefano as supernatural situations used as an example of dramatic irony. What is the meaning of this? Here I have stated the number of times 
we have seen supernatural situations in acts 3 4 and 5 and what is the significance of these supernatural situations they are they serve as examples of dramatic irony gonzalo sums up the strangeness in the words it is a strange island and gonzalo sums up the strangeness in the words a quotation all torment trouble wonder and amazement inhabits here learn this he prays for divine intervention and alonso also says that these are not natural events how do the characters react <clears throat> on seeing the bank uh, on seeing the captain and botswan who are also following ariel in amazement so after witnessing one supernatural situation after the other the characters are in a state of amazement there is a difference in the way the playwright william shakespeare has used supernatural in the tempest and in macbeth try to mention this this is known as intertextual reference automatically this will enhance the quality of your answer the theme of reconciliation is related to this principle of goodness prospero in act 5 remarks the rarer action is in virtue than in vengeance he decides that he will break his charms and restore the <coughs> Shakespeare blends the natural and the supernatural effortlessly. This is important. Blending of natural and the supernatural. Moreover, Ferdinand. Here, just rectify the spelling of Ferdinand. F-E-R-D-I-N-A-N-D. -E a typing mistake. And Miranda fall in love at first sight spontaneously and are ready to sacrifice everything for the sake of love. Prospero's magic has brought them together. Prospero has not uh, made them fall in love. Their love is true and spontaneous. And this shows the blending of the natural and the supernatural in the tempest. This is another significant point which you need to remember. Caliban retains his savage nature and Prospero's powers to regenerate him fail. Antonio too perhaps is not repentant and shows that the use of the supernatural does not convert the human characters into puppets. So there are many characters. Although Prospero is all powerful, there is a blending of supernaturalism with the natural features of these characters. Next. Forgiveness leads to a happy ending. Shakespeare has given due prominence to Prospero's books. Now put a tick mark. His magic wand and his mantle. Caliban asks Stefano to first seize his books to make Prospero powerless. I hope that you remember this. Without his books, Prospero is but a sot. Prospero abjures magic, gives up his magic by drowning his book and asks Ariel to attire him in the likeness of his former self as the Duke of Milan. When he was the Duke of Milan, he used to just <coughs> be engrossed in studying books on magic. But when he comes to this island, he has to use this magic in order to survive. Prospero's magic is perhaps his means to survive on the island and not only that, punish the wrongdoers and in the epilogue, Prospero addresses the audience to pray for him as he abjures his magic. After giving up his magic, his magic books, he is powerless and he prays. He requests the audience to pray for him. Thus, Shakespeare 
has refined the supernatural and made it convincing and credible. This is the conclusion. And I forgot to mention another point. The theme of supernaturalism is closely associated with the theme of appearance versus reality. The second question, ISC Preboth's question paper, what role does the banquet play in Act 3, Scene 3 of The Tempest? 5 marks. The banquet scene in Act 3, Scene 3 of The Tempest is dramatically significant in the narrative of the play. If you are unable to find any good introductory statement, then always use this trick, this hack. Make it dramatically significant in the narrative of the play or the story or the poem. Mention a general statement like this, but it should be related to the question. Be wise and adjust your style according to the question available. This is a hack, a trick. Coming back to the banquet scene now, the textual reference part. Strange and solemn music is heard and several strange shapes carrying several trays for a feast enter. They dance around the trays and dishes with gestures of greeting and invite King Alonso and his courtiers to start eating. These points are there in the textbook. I have just copied them directly in order to describe the banquet. They depart but leave the food behind. Sebastian says they are all hungry. Gonzalo convinces Alonso to eat. Ariel enters with thunder and lightning. And as a result of his employing a strange device, the feast disappears. So we have the appearance of the banquet and the disappearance of the banquet mentioned as briefly as possible. Now, Critical analysis of this. Thus, Prospero uses the illusion of the banquet to remind the men of how hungry and desperate they are. This also shows them how powerless they are. They are hungry, they are about to eat, but the food disappears. This is an illusion used by Prospero with the help of his magic. And what is the purpose of this illusion? To remind the men, to remind King Alonso and his courtiers of how hungry and desperate they are. They want food. This also shows how powerless they are. After describing the banquet, I have analyzed it critically. This is the role played by the banquet in the tempest. The first point and the most important aspect here is that it is an illusion and you will soon see in the conclusion of this answer that I have associated this with another theme. Illusion, mention this, mask and illusion, banquet and illusion. The first point and now moving on to the next point. Saying that he is an agent of fate, Ariel condemns Alonso, Antonio and Sebastian for overthrowing and exiling Prospero and Miranda. Ariel adds that only sincere repentance can save the men from the fury of the avenging powers. Prospero uses his magic through the medium of Ariel to mess with the minds of those who betrayed him. The second point, Ariel's appearance as an avenging harpy represents the climax of Prospero's magic. The third point, the three men of sin are confronted with their crimes and threatened with punishment. This is how you must write the role or significance of the banquet in Act 3 of The Tempest. <clears throat> the conclusion now. The banquet highlights the element of supernaturalism. The fourth point. 
Prospero can do what he wants and remains invisible throughout the appearance and disappearance of the banquet. It also shows the efficiency of Ariel and all three of them are desperate and their great guilt begins to bite the spirits. So these are the words of Gonzalo and I have used these quotes in order to show the impact of this illusion. And as I said a little while ago, it brings out, the illusion brings out the theme of appearance and reality.